hey guys uh, here is another low cost tablet from VD called V13 this one comes with Cortex A8 box chip 813 processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz with Mali 400 GPU this is the V13 box pack inside the box you have the tablet the user manual the adapter power adapter the power pin this is the USB to micro USB cable this is the tablet the V13 tablet low cost this is priced at rupees 4990 it's lightweight good build quality and black and white combination the tablet is quite slim and uh, very comfortable to hold the VD logo the power button 3.5 mm jack micro USB port DC in and volume rockers these are the buttons on the right hand side and there are no other buttons anywhere on the other sides Overall, I am very impressed with the build quality. This is how it looks from the sides. From the front, the back, the micro SD slot, built in mic, and speaker out. The back side has got a unique texture and a mild embossing as you can see here. If you move your fingers on the textures you can hardly feel it. This is the front camera. Let's power on the tablet. With 4GB internal storage it will cost you Rs 4990. This one is with 8GB internal storage. It has G sensors for 3D gaming built-in Wi-Fi, external 3G support via dongle. However, there is no HDMI port. The Android 4.0 OS has now started. These are the pre-installed apps. The performance is very good. It's very fast. As you can see, the touch is very sensitive, it's capacitive touch screen. I've connected the pen drive to the USB to micro USB cable. This tablet comes with a micro USB port and not a mini USB port which you usually find on other tablets. Okay, it's connected. And now I'm going to access the contents of the pen drive. I'm going to the file manager the USB drive I'm going to open an image and just try zooming in as you can see it's very smooth no issues let's try the default stock browser uh, we have something new here it's tab browsing just like on the desktop you can open multiple tabs and each of them can load a website I'll try loading my site okay it's loaded I'll try this scrolling okay it's smooth let's see the rendering how fast it is okay uh, there is a small lag I found this rendering issue on almost all tabs so we can just ignore it for the time being. Let's try the orientation. Works perfect. Of the 512 MB RAM, 354 MB is available for the user. This is the internal storage, 1 GB free, 123 MB used. 
and this is the SD card storage which is the internal SD card storage which is 5.6 GB free this is the 8 GB version there are no physical buttons for navigation and hence you will have to use the on-screen buttons the system information it's AR MV7 processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz the memory Display is 800 by 444, 160 dpi, Mali 400 GPU. The G sensors for 3D gaming. The quadrant benchmarking tool has given it a score of 2394, which is very impressive. None of the low cost tablets have even crossed 2000. This is really good. N22 benchmarking tool gave it a score of 2670 which is really good this is the YouTube it's pretty smooth the tablet is very comfortable to hold and the battery doesn't get heated up as much as it does on the other tablets well that's it for now thank you for watching this video